seen the blind tiger? No, there isn't a blind tiger. Have you seen a blind tiger? No, it's okay. Sorry to scare you. There's a rumour in town. Word on the street is that there's a brand new drinking den, an underground secret drinking den. And the only way to access this place is by asking to see the blind tiger. Now, two things. Firstly, I don't know what the blind tiger is. Secondly, I don't know who I'm meant to ask. So, we're just gonna wander around the streets of Manchester asking and looking. Let's see how this works out. Come on. Excuse me, have you seen the blind tiger? Blind tiger. Blind tiger. Who is that? Has anybody seen the blind tiger? This is ridiculous. Where's the blind tiger? Have you, have you seen the blind tiger? I don't think I have, no, mate. No blind tiger? No, no. If you see a blind tiger, will you let me know? Well, Thank you, mate. Has anybody seen a blind tiger? Mate, excuse me, have you seen the blind tiger? Now that lovely man just whispered in my ear who to ask if they've seen the blind tiger. Turns out it's quite simple. All you do is come off St Anne's Square and come here to San Denis de Bar. Then you just ask the barman and he'll take you to the secret drinking den. If only I'd known that half an hour ago. Whoa, check this place out. It feels like you're in a proper underground drinking den. I love it. Look at all the stuff on the walls. Hello, mate. I'm Matt. Pleased to meet you. This is Lee. Lee's going to be looking after us while we're here this evening. So, what we're drinking first? First, we're going to start with some water. Of course. Let's drink, let's drink responsibly. Well, the first actual cocktail we're going to try is a one called a syllabub. So while you're making that, let me just ask you, this place is incredible. I mean, it looks amazing. It's difficult to find, but I got here eventually. <laughs> um, what's the story behind it? What's the thinking behind this? So we, we want it to be uh, the worst kept secret, basically. <laughs> A lot of the influence for the venue came from a really interesting time for drinks and interesting time in general for history, uh, especially in kind of the Americas, uh, early 19th century. Our focus was much more on the kind of earlier temperance movements. Um, and during this time, you had a lot of immigration in the cities. Now, to get around the kind of licensing laws, they would use almost like an invitation. So you would be invited to go see the blind tiger or you'd be invited to go see the blind pig. Oh, so almost like you're going to see like a circus act. 100%. So it's not yeah, yeah, just yeah, a yeah. password. It was like, no, you are coming to see this special act. Yeah, exactly. Um, although when you get there, you just may so happen to get a complimentary drink, just as you're about to get. Um, that was, that was ah. kind of the basis of it. Wow, that's nice. And it doesn't taste too boozy. No. And not too sweet. That's my sort of drink. Yeah, nice and mellow. So someone's asked to see the blind tiger. They've been brought down the staircase. They come up to the bar. How does their evening unfold? First thing is just to make you feel welcome. Make sure that you get treated to a little moose bouche as well, which is just uh, kind of a little taster of the kind of drinks that we, we do as well. Are we talking a free taster? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah I'm, in, I'm in, say no more, I'm definitely in. So this is a drink called a bishop. Just a little something just to kind of whet the appetite. Tell me something, because I've heard about something you do called the Sunday service. Right, yeah. This so sounds great, tell us. We just wanted to create a really nice atmosphere on the Sundays. The idea is that you just get seen to at the table and, and, and also the, the drink itself is uh, crafted at the table for you, poured out, garnished and... and the cocktail's made at the table? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Nice. So you get a little bit of flair, you get a little bit of theatre. Um, but it's mostly about comfort and just looking after people well. Okay, can I be cheeky? Absolutely. I think it's time for cocktail number two. Couldn't not agree more. What do we got? So this is a drink called a Curo Collins. Curo Collins. Yeah. Came up in uh, the idea in January where everyone's talking about detoxing and all the all dry January and all those kind of things. So we've gone with a uh, kale infused gin. Kale infused gin? <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. drinking so... booze, but my body's being tricked into thinking I'm being healthy. 100%, I'll yeah. I'll take that so... any day of the week. Wow, well, look at that colour. This is probably the healthiest thing I've drank this year. Wow. Good it, well, yeah, a hundred percent. It, it, it's delicious. Cheers, man. I feel healthy already. More than welcome. 
you do a gin club here as well, don't you? You indeed, yes. So uh, every Thursday, if you're a member of the gin club, you get a discount on the drinks. You also get access to some secret drinks as well. But it's completely free to join. What do you think? Sounds good to me. How do I join? Oh, it's as easy as that, mate. And so this is like a membership card? Yeah, absolutely. So there you go. I'm in the gin club, the easiest club I've ever joined. Do yourself a favour and come down to the Blind Tiger. Remember, all you've got to do is come to Sandinista and just ask the barman if you've seen the Blind Tiger. Cheers.